kids dropped at school and I'm walking down to the office. When will I stop doing that and just accept that I now have an office to go to? And while I'm walking, I'm filling in Trello on my phone with thoughts of what I need to do today. Yeah, there's quite a lot of small to-dos that I need to do. It's Tuesday and I'm starting the day with the podcast because we have got a problem with the audio for this week's podcast because when I recorded it, instead of picking up my microphone, it was just recording through the laptop. <sighs> totally my fault because I've been doing this long enough that I, I thought I always double checked that before I hit record. But there you go, sometimes you get it wrong. So what I'm doing is going through and re-recording. You can see here, this is the original interview and then this line here, is me re-recording my lines. And what I can do is play it and re-record it as I hear it. Does that make sense? So I hear what I say in my, in my headphones and then I say it at the same time. So it's playing and it's recording at the same time because it's clever. And that means I can get this done a lot quicker and say exactly as I would have said it in the original interview. And then it will just be a case for the editor to swap out my original track for my new track. And that might sound like a lot of faff, but I care about the quality of what the podcast sounds like. And so this is what we've got to do. So that took about an hour, but it's done. You can see all of my bits above the original file and you can see actually I don't talk that much in the podcast but if I play it the original I didn't feel like I needed to yeah before you set up this company and the new one yeah before you set up as a company so that's all done it's half past ten I need to get ready because I'm gonna go and work in the co-workspace now, then head into London because I am I'm off out tonight. One of my most loveliest clients are up for an award and they very kindly have asked me to join them. Despite the fact that I've played a big part in it, that didn't mean they had to invite me and pay for my ticket and put me up in a hotel and it's very generous and lovely of them and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, I only got about five hours sleep, then had to get up, head across London to be part of like a consultation meeting for a new project. So helping them figure out the best way to make some videos. I have got back home with about an hour to spare. I've been editing the vlog on the train. I think I might go into the co work space now and try and finish that, give myself an hour to finish it. Because then I've got to pick up the kids and do swimming lessons and all of that. Uh, and at some point, I'm probably going to hit the wall. So do you remember last week, they were taking our photo at the co-worker space. A few weeks before that, I was interviewed by a journalist, and this week, uh, we're in the local paper celebrating the fact that it's been open a year. I haven't been there a year, but it's a really nice piece. And then I get home and find that I'm also in the Ipsy magazine. 
the Association for Independent Professionals and the Self-Employed. Uh, that's that Ask the Expert thing. So yeah, Mr. Mr. Publicity, pretty cool. One thing I really noticed from being in the co-work space the last few weeks is, as you know, and you may have noticed this in these videos, if you really miss the sight of my, my legs running, um, I've not really been for a run, it doesn't seem like. Not properly. Like, I used to do that every day, pretty much. Certainly a few times a week. So yeah, getting more work done, but less exercise. So that's not good, gotta do something about that. I'm doing more walking. Just not more, you know, high energy stuff. Also, I miss kind of having a lunch break. Taking time to make myself some lunch, sit down, read. Yeah. Such a perk of being a freelancer and being a parent is that you can go in and do like the maths games or science activities and things that they do. Obviously there's quite a lot of parents who can't go. When you're your own boss, you get to decide what you, uh, what you do with your time. So, Friday night, rock and roll. My wife is away on a work thing. I'm gonna get quite an early night because we've got a busy morning with the kids. But I am getting the latest episode of the podcast uploaded. It is James Curran, otherwise known as Slim Jim Studios. And I love James's work so much. And it's interesting, so much of our chat is about the side projects that he does and how he has got himself known because of those side projects. So Saturday, most of it is about looking after the kids because my wife's away. Good week, but it's been a funny week. It like it seemed to have peaked on Tuesday, and I still keep thinking back to that. Not only because I should really probably add something like video creator for award-winning learning and development initiatives to my LinkedIn profile and website. I haven't yet. I probably should. But also because I feel like I've won just by having them as my client to be working on a project where I actually see it making a difference and being used rather than handing something over with somebody going, no, that's great, thanks, bye. And also it feels like a win because I feel like part of that team, which is a nice feeling when you work by yourself. And this weekend, other than putting live the podcast, I've not really done any work because I've perhaps been more productive in the co-work space. So maybe that's winning too.